In exercise 3, we're going to look at transferring and sharing data. Here's our scenario. I want to copy some code from my own machine to my home directory on Jasmine. I also want to copy some data to a group workspace on Jasmine so that I can share it with colleagues. My colleagues and I all belong to the workshop group workspace. We'll be using the transfer or exfer server shown here in the top part of this Jasmine service diagram. So here are our objectives for this exercise. By the end of this exercise, I'll be able to copy a small text file from my local machine to my Jasmine home directory using a transfer server. Copy a directory tree of data files recursively from my local machine to the workshop group workspace. Understand permissions and ownership needed for group access. Be aware of the limitations of some transfer methods and pull in data from an external data source using a transfer server. In terms of resources, you'll need an account with a valid Jasmine login privilege. If you're using one of the Jasmine training accounts, this will already be arranged for you. We're going to be using um, one of the transfer servers, xfer102.jasmine.ac.uk. You'll need your home directory, so you'll need to know the path of that with your own username. Um, you're going to use the workshop group workspace at the path shown here. And you'll need to use local resources as you've set up in exercise zero, including your SSH key and passphrase, your SSH client application, and make sure that your network connection is suitable for connecting to Jasmine. So here's an overview of our task. You're going to make a simple text file or script on your local machine. Copy it to your home directory on a Jasmine transfer server. Make a directory on your local machine and create a few simple files in it representing some data that you want to share. This is your source directory. Then make a destination directory for yourself within the workshop group workspace. Copy the source directory and its contents to the destination directory using the transfer server. Check that the ownership and permissions on your directory within the group workspace allow reading and, if you choose, writing by other members of the same workspace. And finally, using command line tools, download a test file from the URL given to your destination directory in the workshop group workspace. Then you can delete it. If you get through all that with time to spare, um, or you want to challenge yourself, here are some further questions to test your knowledge and you might find the answers by looking at the Jasmine documentation. For some of them you might need to look um, a little bit further. First of all, how would you set the permissions on a file or a directory so that it can be A, written by any other member of the same workspace, or B, readable by any user of Jasmine? Question two, how could you share data on Jasmine with users outside of Jasmine? And question three, why our transfer methods based on SSH not very efficient over long distances. So what happens next? Well, try out the exercises in this task for yourself, and then you'll need to watch the second video for a demonstration of the recommended methods, discussion of alternatives and best practice, and we'll go through the answers to those um, questions. And don't forget, if you need any further information, you can find uh, most things in the help documentation. Um, if you get really stuck and you're working on this outside of one of the workshop events, then um, feel free to email the help desk, but do try and have a look for the, the answer for yourself first.